こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? Today we are gonna study kanji. This is number five video of JLPT N4. The first kanji is this one. We pronounce toku or to, and this means special. The left part of this kanji is like ushi, the cow. In the right part, this is tera, temple. So this means the cow, but in this case, the male. So this is a bull, special male, that is sacrificed to the temple. So this kanji means special. Let's write this kanji. The first one is this red one, one. And the second one is this black line, two. And notice that this line, the black line, is not too long. Quite short and going up. The third stroke is this blue line from here, quite upper part and going straight down. But be careful, this is not just in the center, a little bit to, toward right. To finish this part of Ushihen, now this the last line, the green one, from here going up like sh like this. But this is not too long. You must finish about the same line, the same point to this point, the black point, about the same, okay? This one here. Now the part of this one, temple, tera. Now first, you know this one. This is quite easy. This is like Saturday, doyobi, do, or tsuchi, soil. So this one, the red one, the first one, red, and this black one straight down in the center in the middle of this and here the blue one the last one the blue one is longer than this red one the last part this green one from here going a little bit up just the same inclination like this one okay and now this red line and you must be careful this red, red line it's not just in the center this is toward the right side and here going straight down and jump and the last one this black one from here going down like this using this kanji then we add ni toku ni this is an adverb and meaning is especially particularly in particular tokyu this means limited express because this one is especially an isogimas to go in a hurry or be in a hurry. So goes this train goes so hurry. Especially because Tokyo stops only at the major station. The second kanji is this one and meaning is to separate. The left part of this kanji this symbolizes the, the bones of the articulations. And the right part symbolizes, this one here, symbolizes katana, sword, or something like a, the knives that can cut. So this kanji means cut the bones and separate. So this kanji symbolizes to separate. The way to read this kanji, this is betsu, betsu, and also waka from this verb. Wakaremasu. Wakaremasu means to separate or to break up with someone or to just say goodbye to someone, also wakaremasu, or to part ways because the, I go this way and you go this way. To part. This is wakaremasu. I said goodbye to my friend at the station. Eki de tomodachi to now we're gonna read together the first kanji of today and the second kanji. Tokubetsu, special, exceptional, extraordinary, unique. This is tokubetsu na, na adjective. Special person, unique person, extraordinary person, ex exceptional person. Tokubetsu na hito, special friend. Tokubetsu na tomodachi, special memories. 
特別な思い出。This can be twice the same. 別 and again 別。別別。And we usually write in the second one, this is repetition, we write this one. And this is the repetition. 別別。In this case, I'm gonna add に and this, this is gonna be the other verb. 別別に。Separately, individually. We pay separately. 別別に払います。別別に払います。To distinguish between A and B or distinguish A from B. 区別します。区別します。In this 区 this kanji you know already because we, I, we studied in the second video of kanji of JOPT N4. Discrimination. 差別,差別 The verb to separate, but the meaning of to classify. 分別します We must separate the garbage, garbage, trash, or rubbish. ゴミ,ゴミ In many occasions, we can see ゴミ in katakana, but you can write katakana or in hiragana. ゴミ,ゴミを分別しなければなりません。うん。ゴミを分別しなければなりません。Third kanji is this one. We can pronounce you を、うをあであります。And the meaning is to exist or to have.The stroke order is quite important in this kanji.This is like 右 the right, that we will learn already. The first one is the red one. One, and this is quite short. And second one, and this black one. And this is quite long and going up to quite long. And now, this part of tsuki, like moon, okay? This blue one, one. And second one, this green one, two. And this is quite long and jump. And three and four. And this space is quite the same. Okay? The important point is this second line is long. So only the one and two,、uh, till here, this is quite wide, right? But this kanji must be like slim. So and the important is this part of tsuki, the moon, must be like slim. And this one, the green one, Quite long and jump. The important point is this second line is long. So only the one and two,、uh, till here, this is quite wide, right? But this kanji must be like slim. So and the important is this part of tsuki, the moon, must be like slim. And this one, the green one, quite long and jump. This kanji symbolizes the right hand. Having the meat, meat. Well, you know, this, the way of writing this one, one, two, this is just the same as right, migi. And this part, I told you this tsuki, the moon, but also this means the meat. When we talk about some,、mm, some, the part of the body, many occasions we use this one. So, especially organs like the heart, and we use this one, okay? So, this symbolizes the meat. This is why the right hand having the meat. So, this means, this kanji all together means to have. You may, this is not adjective, you may famous. And this may, this is not, not. Namae, name, name. And this means to have, to have name. Because it's so famous, so, so beautiful, so something, so, something has got the names. So to have names. So famous. So you may famous because to have names. Fee charging. It costs money. You do. Because ryo, this comes from ryokin, the charge. So th- this is to have. To have 
charge. There is a charge, so you must pay. 有料 that cost money. Fee, the, the fee of charge is exist. In the contrary, 無料 this 無 it is ない,ない It means there, there isn't. 無料,無料 this is free of charge. The next kanji is this one, and this means very convenient. The left part of this kanji, this one, this is nimben, and this symbolizes a person, and this part symbol, symbolizes the thing, and here, this is the hand. So the things and the hand, this is like a service, some kind of service. The person and the service. Oh, this is very convenient. How nice. Oh, convenient. The person with a service. We pronounce bing or bing. And also, tayo, and we must add ri, hiragana. Tayori. Tayori, this means a letter, but very poetic form. Letter. The stroke order, quite easy. The first one is this part, nimben. The one, the first one, this red one, one and two, long, just going down. And now this part, the blue one, like this, going up, not very long, going up. And this one, this is he, like Sunday, Sunday, nichi yobi no nichi, or he, the sun. But you must be, you must write like this, okay, this one. So、the green line toward inside and red one going up and going inside, and now this black one and blue one. Okay, the same space, and now this green one going to your left, and the last one is this red one quite long, like this. Post office. You bin kyoku. You bin kyoku. And we use this, that in, in the center, we use this kanji. This one. You bin kyoku. Post office. The last kanji of today is this one. And the meaning is sharp. Today we studied this one. Do you remember? To separate. Well, this part, I told you this means katana. Japanese sword. Katana. So, this is the same, also the katana, so something to cut. But in this case, we use this part, left part, nogihen. Nogihen, because this is no from katakana, chun, naniune no, and this one is ki, tree in the kanji. So, no and ki, but the pronunciation, nogi, nogihen. So, this part is called nogihen, and this nogihen. Symbolizes the rice plant. So we cut rice plant with the knife, or very sharp knife. Chun, 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 chun. So very effectiveness. Effectiveness, and this means also profit. The stroke order is very, very easy. As I told you, this is no from katakana, one. And now we are going to write the tree. But tree, instead of writing big, This is only just one part, the left part, so we must write so narrow, okay? So one and two, this one, and three, this blue one, not in the center, a little bit to the right, going straight down, and for this green one, and this red one, this quite short, okay? Short, and this point, and this point about the same, the black one and red one, quite short. And the last part is the katana. This black line and blue one. The long and jump. And that's it. Now we're gonna add this kanji that we've just studied now. Do you remember? So this, this one and this one all together we pronounce bendi. And this kanji, the meaning is convenient. And di, this is very effective and also profit. Practical, convenient, useful, handy. This is na adjective. Bendi or bendi na. 
with this kanji and we add this one. Ko, kodomo no ko, ko, like a child. But here we pronounce shi and lishi. Lishi, this is about the money. Lishi, this is interest. For example, interest for the loan or the interest of the bank. Lishi, the verb to make use of or to take advantage of or to utilize, utilize or to use. Liyoshimas, using this kanji. Liyoshimas, to use. Now a quiz time with three translations into Japanese. And please use kanji as much as possible. Ichiban me. The convenience stores in Japan are very convenient. Niban me. I'm going to give a special present to my girlfriend in her birthday. Samame, the place where I live now is near from the very famous university. Till this kanji video number five, you already studied 25 new kanjis of JLPT N4. Writing these kanjis with me using my videos then I think more and more you practice and more and more beautiful your letters are. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a like. And if you can share my videos with your friends, oh, that would be a great help for me. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do it because then you can learn Japanese with me quite easily and little by little, you're, you're, you're gonna be much better in your Japanese. Ikaga deshita ka? Kyo mo atarashii kanji wo itsutsu oboemashita yo ne? Kanji wa ichinchi de takusan oboeru koto wa muzukashii desu ga demo kono yo ni kyo ima itsutsu benkyo shitta de shou? Kore wo sukoshi tsutsu mata mo ikkai mo ikkai to dekita ra nido ka sando kono video o mita ra zettai ni oboe te shimao to moimasu yo? Ishu kan ni kanji wo itsutsu chanto oboe rare ta ra それは本当にすごいですよ。とてもすごい。一週間に5つ。うん、これは絶対に無理じゃない。頑張りましょうね。このビデオが気に入ってくださったら、ぜひいいねボタンとチャンネル登録忘れないでお願いいたします。そして私